Night Tips. Welcome to another Tech by Tips video. In today's video, we're gonna be making a pause in our series once again because I've gotten a lot of messages from people uh, like this one where they're saying, okay, we've been following your R series and stuff, but I would like to know how to update the containers that we have running. So in this case, for example, uh, this person sent a message saying, do you think you could do a video on how to update the Docker containers? I've been running all the R's that you talked about long enough that some things are getting out of date, for example. It seems like my radar uh, search isn't working because the mono install needs to be updated. When I research it, all I get is you need to update the radar docker container. The problem is that I don't know how to do that. Uh, I think you probably have other followers with the same issues and you are correct. I've had a few people already asking for this. If it doesn't work with their release plan, no worries. Oh, no worries. I'm going to uh, put it in between. It's okay. And then uh, congrats on the rapidly rising subscriber count. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. We have already reached uh, HD. Last time I checked, it was 720 people. So I'm happy about that. And he says one day uh, he'll be able to say, I followed Tech by Tips back when there was fewer than 300 subscribers. So thank you very much for reaching out. And yes, we're going to work on that right now. So let's go. This is an example. I have the SAP NZBD container. I have not updated it since we deployed it. And as you can see, it's telling me an update is available for version 4.1.0. So we're gonna discuss how I normally do these uh, types of updates. So let's go back into our NAS. And if we go back to our NAS, you'll see that the container, for example, is running. And the trick here, the most important thing is using the latest tag why the latest tag it's always updated with the latest working version of the application so for example linux server updates the 7 zbd latest whenever there's a new change to the application it could be stable it could be nightly whatever but that's the latest version that they have so this is the version that get updated the most frequently so if i use the latest tag then the update process is very simple. Let's go through that. First of all, we have to stop the container from running. Let's make a note. We were version one, uh, 4.1.0. So 4.1.0. Let me write that down in a notepad. 4.1.0. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's not running. It's turned off. So what we do is we go back into the registry. First of all, it looks, let's look at the image. Um, Sabin ZBD, well here it doesn't give us the date when we downloaded it or anything like that, but that's the version we're going to look for. Let's go into the registry and say Sabin Z, Sab NZBD. We go to the Linux server one and then we re-download the latest version. So what is this going to do? It's going to update the image that we have in our NAS for that tag. So it's gonna update the layers in that image to the latest version. So that's what we're gonna have stored to deploy a container, right? So then we say, okay, latest re-download. And as you can see, it's gonna be re-downloading that same latest version. And when it's done, you'll notice that we don't have a new Sab and ZBD latest image here. We'll see that the image that we currently have was updated so let's give it some time it's still downloading so let's be patient and here it is it's done uh with the download and as you can see i don't see two sab and zbd latest i only see one so if we go over all of this that's it only one sab and zbd latest so that means that the current image that we're using was updated that means that the layers have changed so what we need to do is we go into our containers. Now that we have it turned off, we right click on the container and we click where it says action. And in the actions, we pick reset. And it says the following container will be reset. All the data in the container will be lost once it is reset. Are you sure you want to proceed? And we are fine with doing this because we have already mapped the configuration files to a location in our NAS. So if we go here into the Docker configs, 
our SAB and ZBD configuration is safely stored in here. So we don't have to worry about that. Even though all the layers are gonna be replaced with the new layers, this is gonna be mounted in the slash config folder. So it doesn't matter what the new version of the layer is because we're gonna lay this on top of that in the container when we mount it. So this is what's, what's gonna replace whatever it's gonna be put there. And this is gonna contain all our configurations. Everything would be back as if the container never changed, except it, it's gonna be updated. So let's do that, let's say yes. So now we'll see that the container goes through a process. It's not available right now because the, the system is doing something to the layers that are being used for that container. So now it's done. Now we see it here available. Let me clear this up. And then we can safely start the container again. And it's gonna look like a little bit like if uh, it's a new container in the logs. So you see uh, things coming up here. Let's give it some time because it, sometimes it takes some time to show, like to reflect the things. There we go. And now it's setting everything up and uh, it's listening already. So it was so fast because it's already reading the configuration that we had uh, prepared for it. So we should be able now to go back into the application here and refresh the application everything stays the same all our configurations should stay the same so it prompts us for the password we are able to log in and voila when we look here there's no longer that message saying that we need to update sab and zbd because it has already been updated by resetting the container using the latest version of the latest tag so if we go into the information here on the container it says that we're, st we're still in version 4.1.0 but if you look here it means that we're now up to date in the repository so we moved up in version 1.1.0 to the latest push or the latest commit that was done for this repository so that's why we're no longer behind in our version and you would do the same for every container that you have that has the latest image so in my case i can do it with uh, sonar because sonar is latest seven zbd is latest radar is latest cubiturn vpn is latest prowler is latest mylar is latest lidar is latest all of those except radar because for some reason the radar container does not have the latest image. I don't know why. I've looked it up several times. But no matter how many times I check it, I do not see that they ever put a latest tag. So everything here for this specific application is nightly developed, etc. So there's, there's no latest tag. So upgrading this specific application is more of a hassle because you literally have to delete the container and recreate it in another version the configuration is still being saved because like we have configured in the series we're putting that in here so radar's configuration is here but you have to go through the process of creating the container, setting up the environment variables, mounting the right um, volumes to the container, mapping the appropriate ports for the container, and then just spinning up the container. And once the container spins up, if you put all the settings like they were before, and there's no major problem between versions of the applications, it should read the configuration files that we have stored and come back up as it was before you deleted and recreated the container. So ideally, you'll go for the latest tag and that's the best and easiest way for you to update your containers in a Synology NAS when you have them running in Docker. So I hope you find this useful. This was a very short video, but I hope it was very useful for you, all the people that had this question because it's honestly very easy. It's a very easy thing to do. 
So now that you are armed with this knowledge, you don't have to face these problems of having, you know, your applications not working because something is outdated. So I'll continue next week with the series that we're currently doing. Remember, you can always leave a comment in the, in the comment section below. And if you're a donor, you can always send me a message and I'll do my best. Obviously, I'm gonna prioritize the people that donate to the channel because this channel is not monetized. So if you wanna support me and help me to continue focusing on creating good quality videos for you, tutorials that you can find useful, feel free to donate on the links in the description below through PayPal or Bitcoin, and I'll really appreciate it. And uh, share the video, like, and subscribe if you have not done it and you like the content because that helps us grow also. So thank you very much. See you on the next video. Take good care and have a happy holidays and a very, very merry new year.